Jesus. Oh my God. There's a bee in my room right now and it's freaking me out. Please leave. Dude. I don't even know if that's a bee or just like a really big fly. Go follow someone else, please. Um, don't you know that I'm trying to film a YouTube video? Alright, well if you hear buzzing, it's the bee that's taken up space, hospice in my room. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Denny Mega, and in case you've been <laughs> living under a rock, I recently just moved, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the bee. I can't, like, <laughs> there can't be something fucking moving behind the camera when I'm trying to film. Anyways, um, I recently moved to Scotland from Australia. Um, I'm on a working holiday. I can't, this fucking bee. I'm on a working holiday and I just, I thought I would inform you guys of some culture shocks that I've experienced. Like this fucking bee, I've never encountered a bee in my life. Except for today. The first thing that I noticed like really quickly is the fact that there's alcohol in like grocery stores. That's insane to me. Which I also now have like found out that Australia is one of the only few countries that does this. But we have them, we have alcohol like in liquor stores. Like there's no, you don't go into the grocery store, get your groceries and your alcohol all in one place. To me, that was crazy. It's too easy access, you know? How cheap everything is here, like food and like beverages, very, very cheap. That's, that scared me a little bit. Actually, do you know what's not cheap though? Fucking subway. I don't know how, but the subway here is more expensive. Like the, my normal subway sandwich is like a veggie delight with no cheese. So it's like avocado and salad and I get that for like five dollars in Australia. I got that this morning and it cost me like three pounds seventy five. Like nearly four pounds. That's like just shy of eight dollars. If my math is correct, which there's a very high possibility that it's not, but I, I don't want to hear a word. Thank you very much. Speaking of Subway, actually, the fact that like they have like a gluten-free roll, which Subway in Australia does not have. Subway in Australia, if you want gluten-free, you have to have a wrap. But they have rolls here. They're very lovely. Great review. But other than Subway, for some random unknown reason, all the food here is insanely cheap compared to Australia. Also, the fact that Red Bull comes in eight packs, we don't have that in Australia. Iron Brew. So if you've seen my tasting sodas all the way from the UK video, I tasted Iron Brew. Iron Brew is like the drink of Scotland. Everyone drinks it or likes it or like you can get it anywhere. So like, I don't, I'm trying to like think about what it's comparable to in Australia. I guess maybe like Sprite or Fanta, but like, at the restaurant that I work at, the like <laughs> the soft drinks that you can get is Coke, Diet Coke, Iron Brew, Diet Brew, lemonade, and soda water, and that's it. Like it's it's one of the oh my god, go away. Woo. You know what? You can stay there, but don't fucking come near me. Guys, uh, what is with this fucking bee? Can I not just have my window open in peace? Apparently not. Lucas Aid bought this because I thought it had electrolytes in it and it fucking doesn't, but like we give this shit to diabetics in Australia and like nobody drinks it, just diabetic people drink it for like when they are low and need sugar. <laughs> Pardon me. Everyone drinks this here. And actually, circling back to the thinking that this was an electrolyte drink, I, this morning, was searching high and low. Sorry, there's like a little box on the viewfinder that's like looking at my face. And it is really entertaining, however, really distracting. I'm looking for Powerade, for Gatorade, for some kind of electrolyte drink to, you know, get me hydrated, feeling a little bit dehydrated, gotta get on that. They're all blue. I can't go anywhere and find a not blue Powerade or Gatorade. And in case 
You didn't know I'm allergic to blue food coloring. No more on that topic, actually. I miss my orange Powerades, though. Summer, like, it, I entered this country when they were in a heat wave, and it, that shit was no fucking joke. Like, it was bad. And that's coming from, like, an Australian who's lived in central Queensland before. That place is hot, but this place, it was fucking well worse. It's, I think particularly it's worse because, like, you're dressing not for heat. Like, I did not enjoy that heat wave. I'm very, very glad it's over. But summer lasts, like, two weeks here. You'll have fabulous weather for about two weeks, and then it's back to normal. People here, I've earned tips working as a waitress, which in Australia, like we, we pay people like as much as they need for like living. Whereas here, the minimum wage is not very good. But honestly, I'm kind of here for the experience. I don't really care that much about the money. I do want to buy an iPad though. Um, oh my god, one of my wisdom teeth is coming through at the back and it's literally tearing my gums out. It's so... Actually, that's honestly the only picture I needed to paint for you. That's that's all I gotta say on that. The fact that people, people here say hiya all the time. They're like, oh, hiya. And we, when they're describing something like little, but it's like, Sometimes, like, it's- they put it in front of, like, words that you don't need to say we in front of. And it's just like, why are you saying we? I don't know. This country's strange, but it's got lots of character. I kind of like it a lot. It's very pretty. I'm in, like, a small town in Scotland, and it's nice. I like it. I haven't been a small town gal since I was in grade three which I actually don't know how many years ago that was. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for making it to the end. Please like, please comment, and please subscribe. And I will see you next week. Bye.